Welcome back everybody to this amazing tutorial that we're going to have today regarding setting up a Minecraft server on Ubuntu 2204 so that you can go ahead and play with your friends. Let's get started. All right, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and download the Minecraft server edition that we're going to be using for our installation. And you can get that. I'll have a link in the description below, but you can get that from the Minecraft website. And we're going to go ahead and download this here. Now, before we download it, um, there's another way that we can do it uh, from the actual server itself. So we're going to just leave this open here for a minute. We're going to go ahead and go into our Linux server so that we can go ahead and start getting that prepared. So what I've done here is I have a uh, KVM set up uh, with Ubuntu 2204. And if I run HTOP, you'll see that I have uh, it's four cores with four gigs of memory. And that should be pretty good, pretty decent server to set up for pretty much any uh, basic Minecraft server that you're gonna run. If you're gonna start getting into modding and everything else, then you might wanna look into possibly getting more memory, or if you wanna add more people to your server, you know, more than like 20, 30 people, you also might wanna look into getting more memory. So what we have is a basic installation here uh, with nothing else going on. So what we want to do is uh, we want to go ahead and actually create a directory that we're going to put our Minecraft folder in. So we're going to do mkdir for make directory. And we're going to call that directory Minecraft. And if we ls in here, you'll see that the new Minecraft folder was already created. So we can actually cd into the Minecraft folder. Now remember I said that we were going to get this file uh, from the server. There's a program on Linux called wget, and that is a program that will allow you to get files from the internet directly onto your server. The way it works is um, we're gonna go ahead over here and copy this file. So if you do right click and copy link address, and if you come back into the server here, you can type in wget, and we're gonna change the name of this file. Uh, so we're gonna do wget dash capital O. And then from there, uh, we get to name it here. Uh, we're gonna just name it Minecraft underscore server. And the name uh, or the, the version, so we're just going to do uh, 1.20 jar. And then after that, we can paste in the address just like that. The reason why we're naming it something different is as you can see in the URL, the name of the file is just server.jar. We don't want to just name it server.jar. We want to name it Minecraft server.1.20.jar. So just go ahead and click enter. It's gonna go ahead and download that file for us. Give it just a moment to finish the download there. Perfect. Now, if we take a look in the directory, you can see that it now has the Minecraft server located in here as well. So the next thing that we wanna do is, of course, this is a Java edition of Minecraft. So we wanna make sure that we have Java installed on this box here. You can do that by typing in Java dash version, and it'll tell you whether or not Java has been installed. And in this case, it looks like the word Java is not found, which is an indication that Java is not installed on this box here. So what we want to do is we want to install Java. The version of Java that we're going to install is 17. So what we want to do here is we want to type out sudo app install before we do this, we wanna make sure that we have everything up to date with the system. So before you do any type of installations at all for any packages, you wanna make sure that the Linux version that you're using is up to date. So the best thing to run first is gonna be a sudo app update and sudo apt upgrade. Now that it's gone through and checked everything, it says there are a few things that we need to install. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit yes for the installation. Okay. 
And now we are going to go ahead and finish with the installation of a couple of things like Java, for instance, and screen, which I will explain later on what we need that for. So we're going to do a sudo app install and we're going to download open JDK 17. And if you tab two times, you'll see all the available packages that you can install. And we're going to do JRE headless. Okay. Now we're also going to install screen. It isn't already installed and we're going to install Vim as well. And we could put that all together on one line and it'll go through and it's going to check to see what needs to be installed. And as you can see, it does say that screen is already the newest version and Vim is already the newest version as well. Looks like there were some packages that were installed or no longer required. We can deal with that later. And now it also looks like we're going to install Java as well. So let's click yes and get that installation. All right, now that we have Java installed, we can take a look and see what version of Java we're using. Remember how we did that earlier? We typed Java version. Now it'll tell you that we're using Java version 17. So that's exactly perfect. That's what we need. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and start the Minecraft server so that it can create the files needed. Now it's not going to go ahead and continue with the full startup because we do need to sign the EULA and make sure that we agree to the terms of service. So the first thing that we want to do is we're just going to come in here and we want to, for the first time, run Minecraft Java dash capital X lowercase ms 1024 M space dash X M X. We're just going to do the basic here as well. 1024. We're going to do dash jar and then the name of our file, Minecraft server jar and then no GUI. This is going to go through and it's going to do the first thing It's going to unpack everything. And you'll notice that the only thing that it's not going to do, it's actually not going to start the server. Okay. So it says we, it failed because we failed to load the eula.txt. So we need to agree to that. So in order for us to agree to that, if you take a look in here now, you'll see that there are some files in here, but not everything is in there quite yet. So what we need to do is vim the eula.txt file. And in here, what we need to do is change false to true. So push I to insert, change false to true, escape, colon, WQ, hit enter. And then we're going to be able to go ahead and run the Minecraft server. Now, before we run the Minecraft server, we want to make sure that you can get to the outside world, including the ports and everything else. So we want to make sure that the port for Minecraft is open in your firewall on the system. So we're going to use UFW, uncomplicated firewall within Linux, and make sure that um, everything is working properly. Okay. So what we want to do is um, check the status first. So we can do sudo UFW status. The status says it's currently inactive and that's totally fine. So what we want to do is we want to allow two things here. We want to allow the port for Minecraft, which is 25565. So we're going to do sudo UFW allow 25565. It's going to say that the rules were updated for both IP4 and IP6. And then we also want to make sure that SSH is available so that you can log into your server whenever you need to as well. So we do sudo UFW allow open SSH. And now since it was inactive prior, what we want to do is we want to make it active. So we do sudo ufw init. Now it's giving us a command may disrupt existing connections because we're already logged in with SSH. So we're going to click yes to proceed. If we run the status again, so ufw, so sudo ufw status, you'll see that port 25565 is allowed OpenSSH is allowed for both 4 and 4v6 as well. So we're good to go there. 
what you want to take a look at here is the server.properties for Minecraft. And as you know, the server.properties will allow you to change any of the settings for Minecraft server that you have set up so that uh, you can modify it for your instance. For instance, you can uh, change the game mode from survival to creative. You can also change the message of the day for when you log in, you can see what it says a Minecraft server. You can change pretty much anything, the max amount of players, things like that. So just make sure that you set up your server.properties file before you start your game. What you want to do now is in order to run the Minecraft server, you'll want to run it in a screen session. And what a screen session will do is it'll allow you to go ahead and run another instance of your SSH. So another shell instance so that you can close that window and not have to worry about closing the instance of the Minecraft server that you're running in the background, right? So the best thing to do is just type screen. Okay, and this is gonna open up another window. It's gonna give you all the information about screen. Just click enter. And it basically just drops you into a new, um, a new window. So it looks like it's a new window. Um, you're in the same session, um, but you're in now in a, a new shell instance, okay? And you can easily exit out of this instance without any trouble or worrying about closing down the server. So since, since our server has four gigs of RAM, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make sure that we're giving our Minecraft server enough juice in order to run and be beefy, right? So let's start our Minecraft server now. So we're going to do Java dash capital X and then in lowercase ms minimum value of your memory so 1024 m and then again dash capital x mx for the maximum and we're gonna do three gigs so 3072 the name of the program we're gonna be running which is jar and then the minecraft server name okay and then of course no gui and then we click enter this is going to go through and start the Minecraft server since we've already agreed to the EULA. So it's now going to actually go through and create everything that we need. All right, so now it's done, as you can see down below. Okay. Now, in order to exit out of this window so that you don't accidentally close it down, you don't want to click the X because that'll actually close that session. So you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and then tap the letter A, let go, and then tap the letter D, and that'll get you back where you are right here, okay? Now, if you ever log back into your server and you wanna go back into this screen session, um, you can do screen, and then to reattach, dash R, or resume. There you are, control A, D, and there you are. And that's really simply how you can go through and set up a Minecraft server. This is just the basics of setting up a, a basic Minecraft instance. You'll be able to have anybody connect to that server. So let's just head and exit out of this instance here. And we're going to add a new server. Remember to put in your IP address. All right, let's go ahead and log in here. Multiplayer, in our server, give it a second to ping. There we are, and you can see the new server here that we just created. So let's go ahead and log into that server. One thing I wanna show you here, so let's make this a little bit smaller so that you can see what's going on on this side over here. And when I log in, you can see that on the left-hand side, It'll show you who's logging in on that server. All right, everyone, that concludes today's tutorial. Uh, simple instructions on how to set up a Minecraft server using the latest version of Ubuntu and the latest version of Minecraft. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll see you next time. Take care.